All right, what's going on guys? Tread back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing another Walking Dead discussion topic video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about and focusing on the next seasons, the couple seasons of The Walking Dead, and whether or not we think Daryl is actually just Dwight from the Walking Dead comic book series. All right, good stuff. So maybe I should say it the other way around. Maybe is is Dwight Daryl. I don't know. Because the thing is, um, Daryl, of course, came first between the two in terms of which character became something in The Walking Dead first. He was in the TV series before Dwight was developed in the comic book series. Uh, by the way, spoilers for the comic book series because we can't talk about Dwight unless we talk about where he's at and he's really far ahead in the Walking Dead story, like way further than the, than the TV series is at right now. But Daryl did come first. His character was, of course, created with the first season of The Walking Dead and then he became really popular after the first few seasons before Dwight was even, uh, even introduced. Um, and then, of course, Dwight was introduced. We've seen some kind of teaser images, um, I believe it was for uh, April Fools, where uh, Kirkman used one of the covers or Adler, whoever did the artwork. Well, Adler, Adler would have done the artwork, but I don't know whose idea it was. And they kind of released it on their site, I think, uh, with basically um, Dwight having Eugene captured um, and his, uh, his crossbow up, um, but instead they had put Daryl. Um, now, the thing about it is, is the two have a lot of similarities, and we don't know that much about Dwight's background. We don't know almost anything about him, to tell you the truth. All we know about him is he has basically been conditioned to be a subservient to Negan, as long as Negan was there. He's a badass MFer. He's tough as nails. He was sort of like Negan's number two guy, which is a big thing to say because Negan had like you know, I don't know, 70 to 100 guys, 70 to 100 fighters, right? And Dwight was his number two guy. So that right there tells you how tough he was, tough as nails. Um, we know that Negan burnt half his face with the iron, um, basically. We know what he looks like. He wears, you know, kind of similar gear to Daryl, to tell you the truth. He's got like, a, you know, a biker jacket on, which has got the sleeves cut off, um, uses a crossbow, uses bolts, and is really accurate, really good with them. Uh, of course, with the big introduction, major spoilers, um, killing Abraham, shooting him in the back of the head with an arrow. A lot of people, as soon as they saw that, they're like, oh, is it going to be Daryl? I actually did a video. Is, you know, it, are we going to see Daryl in the com comic book series? Because once we saw that crossbow, I thought instantly of Daryl, right? Daryl. Daryl? Daryl. <laughs> so, you know, so there's a lot of similarities between the two. Also, their hair color is not that far apart. It's pretty close. I mean, to be honest with you, the name too, D&D, &D, Dwight, Daryl, is very similar as well. The only thing about it is that um, we don't know that much about Dwight. You know, Daryl from the TV show, obviously, we're getting to know a lot about his backstory with Merle and everything. We got to know about that brother Dixon relationship and about what he did before the zombie apocalypse. But we may never find that out with regards to Dwight. I think it'd be a really cool moment if sort of Rick and uh, Rick and Daryl, maybe if they either parted ways or if Daryl got separated at some point in time like he did with Joe's group. But instead he found Negan's group. And, um, you know, Negan burnt his face, made him subservient or something like that. And he basically became Dwight from the comic book series. I think that would be a really cool twist and comic book readers would be like, holy shit, I never even saw that coming until it actually hit them in the TV series version. So I think that would be really cool. And this one won't be answered for a while. It's going to be at least, I would say, a, a couple seasons, maybe season six, seven, until we see um, some kind of storyline like that. But because we saw the thing with Joe and the separation, it really sounds like a, you know, it really would make sense to see them do something like that. And I'd really like that if they would go that route because it'd kind of be like, you know, he kind of outsmarted us. You know, <laughs> we're all waiting for Daryl to show up in the comic book series. And he did, but we didn't know it. <laughs> you know, that, uh, that would be, yeah. He's trolling, man. He's just trolling us, trolling us as readers. So that would be pretty clever if that's what they did. So kind of putting it out there, there's a lot of similarities between the two. I don't think there's enough to say for sure yet that they are, you know, the equivalent of each other. The, the comic book version of Daryl is Dwight. And Daryl, of course, Norman Reedus' character in the TV series is the version of him. 
Um, but let me know what you guys think about this. I think it's a really cool possibility and it's something that we could probably see. You know, who knows? If we can find out more about um, Dwight's backstory in the comic book series, then we might be able to, you know, kind of uh, close the gaps and, uh, you know, fill in the fill in, fill in the dots and and uh, get a bigger picture here of, uh, of whether or not they are actually the same character or if they're different. Um, I, I, I will say, though, from reading the comic books, I don't get the feel that Dwight is Daryl. Their personalities don't seem exactly the same. But, I mean, it depends on the circumstances, too. You know, could you see Daryl doing some of the things that, um, that Dwight does and behaving the way he does if half his face was burnt off? If um, he was, you know, kind of angry and really upset the world and freaking out all the time? Because we have seen that in the TV series. So, I don't know, this is a tough one. Um, I'm excited to see in the next couple seasons whether or not it turns out to be the case. Um, but as for right now, I don't think there's enough to say absolutely for sure that Dwight is Daryl. They are the same. But uh, I definitely think there's a lot of really close similarities between the two, and it's a really cool possibility. So let me know what you guys think about that, uh, which side you fall on here. Do you think they're the same character and Kirkman's trolling us, or do you think they're two entirely different characters and they just have a couple similarities like the first letter of their name the way they dress the fact they use a crossbow and uh, the fact that they kind of are you know sort of part of rick's group or, or or at least kind of back and forth you know you don't really know whose side they're on sometimes that kind of thing well with daryl we kind of know in the tv series but i think you guys get where i'm coming from when i say that you know he he kind of left groups with with joe and did what he had to do there and then came back um dwight kind of does that too quite a bit between Negan and, and Rick, you know. So let me know what you guys think. And um, if you like the video, go ahead and like the video below. And uh, yeah, I'll call it here for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trav, as always, and I'm saying peace.